A little prayer on behalf of the children before we began our regular reading. We're still in the book of Job, chapter 15. We'll do a little prayer on behalf of the children. Father God, we come to you and ask that you guide us, you guide us. We the children, Father God, your children, we ask that you guide us and help us, Father, to be good to our parents and hear them when they talk to us and listen to them. And Father God, help us to be good little boys and girls that will be obedient and do what our parents ask of us. And may they love us, Lord, the way you put them here for, to love us and to nurture us and to teach us up by your word, Lord God. And we thank you, Father, because we know that you do everything for our own good and you want us to be good children and to be your children to be good children to you and to listen to you father when you speak for us and you speak to us lord and we love you father and we thank you and we thank you for all our brothers and sisters and we and it's in jesus mighty name that we pray and we say and we thank you father for all of your provisions for us everything that you do for us father we say thank you and it's in Jesus' holy, precious, mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, in our regular reading, we're on the book of Job. And today we're on chapter 15. This is Eliphaz's second speech. If you had any sense. And it's Eliphaz speaking to Job. Eliphaz's second speech, uh, chapter 15 of Job. If you had any sense. Eliphaz from Teman said, Job, if you had any sense, you would stop spreading all of this hot air. Your words are enough to make others turn from God and lead them to doubt. And your sinful scheming mind is the source of all you say. I am not here as your judge. Your own words are witnesses against you. Were you the first human? Are you older than the hills? Have you ever been present when God's counsel meets? Do you alone have wisdom? Do you know and understand something we don't? We have the benefit of wisdom older than your father. And you have been offered comforting words from God. Isn't this enough? Your emotions are out of control, making you look fierce. That's why you attack God with everything you say. No human is pure and innocent, and neither are angels, not in the sight of God. If God doesn't trust his angels, what chance do humans have? We are so terribly evil that we thirst for sin. Just listen to what I know, and you will learn wisdom known by others since ancient times. Those who gained such insights also gained the land, and they were not influenced by foreign teachings. But sufferings is in store each day for those who sin. Even in times of success, they constantly hear the threat of doom. Darkness, despair, and death are their destiny. They Round around for food, all the while dreading the approaching darkness. They are overcome with despair, like a terrified king about to go into battle. This is because they rebelled against God all-powerful and have attacked him with their weapons. They may be rich and fat, but they will live in the ruins of deserted towns. Their property and wealth will shrink and disappear. They won't escape the darkness, and the blazing breath of God will set their future aflame. They have put their trust in something worthless. Now they will become worthless like a date palm tree without a leaf, or like vineyards or orchids, whose blossoms and unripe fruit drop to the ground. Yes, the godless and the greedy will have nothing but flames feasting on their homes, because they are the parents of trouble and vicious lies. Amen. Tomorrow, yes, greed can get us in a lot of trouble. Don't be greedy. Greed for gain. Don't do it. Live right. Try to live a holy life. We're supposed to do right. Well, tomorrow, God's willing. Not tomorrow, I'm sorry. You all have yourself a beautiful last weekend, right? Uh, today is Friday. God's willing, Monday, we'll do chapter 16 of Job. And it's Job replying to Eliphaz. I have often heard this. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. You little ones and the family members alike, you all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. We love you. 
And Father God loves you more. God bless you. Bye-bye.